Hey everyone, welcome back to Crown Geek. In this video, I will be explaining that how to remove tinyurl15.ru virus or any malware from your Windows PC or laptop. The first thing that you have to do, you need to close the program from your task manager. On Windows 10, you can right click on the task bar, choose task manager. On Windows 11, you can use the shortcut key that is control, shift and delete. Now here once task manager comes up you have to look for the program that is tiny url or any suspicious program that you don't identify and once you find it just click on it and choose end task. I have already done that it's not showing in my case but probably you see some suspicious program running here so keep scrolling down till the bottom until you find any and once you are done on the task manager only you will find the startup tab click on it. And now here you have to look for all the program and application that you feel suspicious with or you don't identify you have to click on it and you need to disable them okay so do this for every one of them just come here and just disable it so that it should not come the next time whenever you start the computer once done just close it and now in the next setting we also need to check the dns server because sometimes this malware directly change your ip settings and through that they can access many of your information so what you have to do you have to press the windows and r key to bring up the run box and here you have to type ncpa.cpl then click on ok now you have to look for the connection which you are using if you're using the wi-fi connection just click on it once then make a right click and choose properties i'm using ethernet so i will do on the ethernet just right click properties and then you have to double click on internet protocol version 4 just double click on it and now here it makes sure that it's been set to obtain dns server address automatically after that click on ok then click on ok again and now in the next setting we have to remove the google chrome uh, settings that has been changed by this malware so the first thing that you have to do you have to come to your desktop look for the google chrome icon just make a right click on it choose properties now here in the target section you will see a url so make sure at the end of this url you see chrome.exe if you find anything after that then you have to delete it because that can be added by your uh, faulty malware application or tiny url so assure that there is nothing after the chrome.exe once done click on ok and now we have to just clear the browsing data open your google chrome browser on the right hand top you will see the three dot just click on it and choose settings now from the left hand menu click on privacy and security and then here you will find clear browsing data just click on it make sure that it's been set to advanced click on the advanced tab and time range should be set to all time and after that make sure password and autofill form data have been unchecked the rest keep all the checked after that click on clear data and wait until it's been completed it may take some time depending that how much data you have in the background now from the left hand menu option you will find reset and cleanup just click on it then click on restore setting to their original defaults and then click on reset settings it will reset all the settings and once done click on complete and now again click on the right hand top on the three dot Hover up to more tools and choose extensions. Now you have to look for all the extension that you don't identify, you feel suspicious or you don't need. You need to remove it manually. Okay, look for all of them. Whichever you don't need, you feel suspicious. You simply click on remove and check the complete list of extension here. And once you are done, just close it. And now in the next step, we also need to change the default data to the backup default file so how you have to do press the windows and r key again to bring up the run box and here you have to type percent local app data percent again and then click on ok now this local folder will be coming up now look for google keep scrolling down until you find google here it is double click on it then double click on chrome then on user data and here you will find default so what you have to do you just need to make a right click on it and choose rename and you have to rename it to backup 
default okay this is what you need to make okay my and make sure that the chrome is being closed if the chrome has been opened it won't be changing the folder name so if you get this message then close the chrome folder and try again and once you are done you also need to delete the application and program you have to uninstall so in order to check that just press windows and r key again type abpwiz.cpl then click on ok now the program list will be coming up here you have to look for the program that's a tiny url or anything related to it or something that you feel suspicious you have to click on it and choose uninstall so you need to look for the list till the bottom look for the entire program here whichever you don't need you don't identify you feel suspicious simply uninstall them and once you are done now simply you have to use a third party software that's anti malware byte that will help you to remove all kind of malware and infection from your pc so i will be leaving a link in the description now once you come here you can go with a free version here you will find free download on the right hand top just click on it and the process will start downloading i already have this so let me show you now finally you will come to this page and you have to click on a scan now it will start scanning for the updates memory registry infection everything it will scan and if there would be any threat it will ask you to delete it so simply follow the steps and once done you can clean all the infection and after that if you want to keep this anti malware byte you can keep it or if you want to renew it you want to purchase the license you can purchase it or simply uninstall so that's all guys after completing all the steps simply restart your pc and your problem will be fixed there won't be any tiny url or any malware on your pc hopefully this will work for you and if yes make sure that you hit the like and subscribe to the channel and i see you in the next video bye bye